Three. Two. Benjamin Franklin got struck by lightning and cheated on his wife an uncomfortable amount of times. That doesn't sound like a healthy parental figure to this country, more like a forefather twice removed. I've done a lot of weird stuff too, but no one will ever ask me if I want my face on the one in the movie bill. And honestly, I probably don't deserve it. After all, I am the least recognizable man in existence. And I don't even mean that in a depressing way. I mean that literally. That isn't even me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Maybe... Maybe I deserve to feel this bad. It's hard to say for sure though. I don't have anyone to tell me. Shit. For instance, this isn't even my apartment. I don't know these people. I shouldn't exactly say I, have, I don't know them. I've been watching them live their lives for months. This is the only human connection I can get. They're kind of like family. I'm not a ghost if you were wondering, or at least I don't think I am. I can't float through walls or fly. So if I was a ghost, I'd be pretty disappointed. Really, I just think I'm unnoticed. Oh, I fucking fucked you! I fucking told you you would! Yeah, they all do that. It's Wipeout. That's the point of the game. Well, that dickhead in particular, I told you he wouldn't make it past the third ball, and he did not. That's what she said. No, she didn't. I think if you actually think about it, you'll find that that's precisely what she said. Bree said nothing about the third ball. I never said anything about the balls. And that is also what she said. Is there a fourth person in the room that we aren't aware of? No, Rick. It's a joke. So she's telling a joke. <sighs> yes. What were we talking about? We weren't. Oh. I just love them so fucking much. Now, truthfully, I don't mind not being noticed, usually. It's a little awkward occasionally, but, uh, hey, hey, no, 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 not again! Though it doesn't hurt to pretend they can see me too. I know it isn't real. And maybe it's a little selfish, but it, I think they wouldn't mind if they knew. If the situation were reversed, I wouldn't. Besides, I think I've earned that much after what I've had to go through. Shh, she's on the phone. No, he didn't. No, seriously, he fucking didn't. Okay, alright, fine. You're right, I'll shut up. I don't want you to shut up. I just want you to listen to me. I am listening. Well, what am I saying? I don't know, Stacy. I don't fucking know. Damn it. Ruined my immersion. I know Peyton didn't look at her ass. I was with him, and he's fucking gay. If I'm being, may be honest, I don't think gay begins to describe I know that. I'm just being an asshole. Well, why are you being an asshole? I don't know, because I'm angry. Are, are you lo looking at me? power with the uh, like with that guy over there who just won the um, won the lottery or he would have if I hadn't stolen his ticket I don't like to do that sort of thing but Bree and the guys have been struggling to pay rent this month uh, and it's only a, a hundred bucks so I'm sure it's not that big of a deal Out. I'd get a job, but I don't think the interview would go over very well. Thanks, Norman. Uh, you're welcome. I've got to go.
I was hoping that I was wrong, but I'm not. The hardest part of being unnoticeable is when you start to get noticed. I watched it happen to my mother first. The idea of me seemed to eat the rest of her mind away. Like, knowing that I existed, that broke the rules. I'm not sure what rules exactly, but she couldn't comprehend my existence. And when I turned 16, well, it's not important. The point is, I can't let this happen to them too. Not any more than it already has. Hopefully they'll understand. As if I do. Hey! <gasps> Did you put shit on the wall? No. Come here. Also, I may have misloved a little. I think I might actually be a kleptomaniac. That's so many lottery tickets. So much money. Now that, I think we can all agree, is what she said. No! Maybe I'll never be as famous as manslaught and death enthusiast Benjamin Franklin, but one thing I can say for sure about me and him, we'll both die alone. Please be quiet. I beg of you. Go home. Enjoy your life. Before it's too late. No! I want to see you. Just once. Just once? Yes. I'm so sorry. What do you mean? What's wrong? You've been looking right at me. Oh, 